better valuations there. Meanwhile, new developments in the search for the missing Malaysian plane. Aviation experts are closer to determining whether debris washed up on the French island of Reunion in the Indian Ocean is part of a Boeing 777 that went missing 16 months ago. Officials say the piece of an airplane wing will be brought to France today to be analyzed. A piece of a suitcase was also discovered uh, on the shore, but investigators are not sure whether there is any link to the plane wing. Joining us now on the phone is Michael Boyd. He is from Boyd Group International, and he is the president there. Michael, thanks very much for calling in. Your sense of what we've learned today now with that suitcase washing up, what does this tell us about the missing plane? Not, not much more. That suitcase could have been just garbage in the ocean for all we know. Uh, well, what's going to concern me here is, uh, is this becoming a media circus? Because it doesn't take much to identify a piece of machinery like that. And now we're looking at 48 hours later, so we should know very soon. But if it is a 777 wing or a 777 part, that's Malaysian. That's, there's no, no question. But then what? Yeah. We have no other pieces. I mean, uh, it could be thousands of miles away. We don't, really don't know. Right. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, even if we know that this part of the plane is, in fact, the wing of the uh, Malaysian 370 flight, that doesn't necessarily tell us anything about what went wrong, why the plane went down. Do we have any information in, in that regard, in terms of why the plane went down in the first place? And do you think, since we have these things washed up, that perhaps other things, like the black box, is in the same vicinity? Or, again, it's impossible to know because you don't know about the current in the ocean. No, we don't. A, a black box or an orange box, as it turns out, that's going to be at the bottom of the ocean. That, there's no way that's going to float. But the fact is, there's a lot of junk in the ocean already. So the suitcase, I mean, for crying out loud, go through it. What's in it? You'd know something about it. I mean, if it's, if it's uh, uh, children's stuff or, or something, you can make some determination. But it's almost like we're, we're getting kind of let on again here because it's not that difficult to take a, a piece of a wing and say, I, this is from a DC-6, a DC-3, or a 777. Why is it so hard to find anything else? I mean, it's been 16 months why has it been so, I mean, is that part of the water, you know, different than, than other areas that it's been, you know, so difficult to locate anything from this missing plane? Well, we know this. If this is a part of the wing, that means the airplane did break up. If it broke up, by definition, there must be others. There should have been other stuff floating around, you know, 16 months ago. Yeah. That's the real mystery, not being able to find that. Now, it's a big ocean, but... That's rare, if, if ever. To, it's, been, it's happened in the past, but not very often for an airplane to totally disappear. Yeah. All right, Michael. Thanks very much for weighing in. We appreciate it very much. Michael Boyd there on the Fox line. Straight